All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. I do so in the name of his only begotten son, who the who is Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. May the Heavenly Father love and mercy truly endure forever for Israel. It's your brother Yeramia from the Sakari Philly set. Come at you to uh to do the sit down. Uh, Slocky, you hear that a uh, little bit of rain in the background. But you know, the Lord work, you know, comes in the rain, sleep, snow, hell, right? Um Let's get into uh, this topic that we uh, got today, because uh, the attack is really on our uh, on our uh, babies. Like the attack is is, is on uh, you know people that's 30, 30 plus. It's, it's on it's on all of our people, but they have a specific tech uh, tactic that they use in the specifically at our baby and our youth, right? Because this this is what they're trying to uh, breed as the next uh, generation. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's get into it. New gender neutral clothing store has officially the world's first gender new gender neutral clothing store. <laughs> Homie can't even get the words out because it just it just doesn't make any sense. The world's first gender, new, gender neutral clothing store has officially opened in New York City. NRT's Trinity Chavez reports. Gender free clothing isn't just a trend, it's a movement, and it could be the future of retail. We're here at the Fluid Project here in New York, and it's one of the first gender neutral clothing stores in the world. And it's breaking barriers, one piece of clothing at a time. Everything we're doing is breaking a barrier. We're looking at everything and turning it upside down and saying, why is this? He said, we're looking at everything and we're turning it upside down. This is what you can expect from Esau. You can expect him to turn things upside down. I mean, that's 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 what he's doing. Um, Let me get a scripture real quick. Right, um, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse 16, in the Good News Translation. They turn everything upside down. Which is more important, the potter or the clay? Right, the potter is the Heavenly Father, we're the clay. The clay meaning what he uh make and makes in any form or way that he decides to make it. So that's the question. What is more important, the potter or the clay? Right? Um keep going on. Uh can something you have made say you didn't make me? And that's what Esau does, right? He goes around, he wants to be God, and he's like, you know, yeah, I mean. I created myself, right? Or you know, um, I was created off of, um, you know, I mean, it, off of whim. It's it just, you know, it was osmosis. It just, it just happened to happen, right? You know, the Big Bang. I mean, that's how I was created. I don't have no God, right? I mean, I mean, that's how I was made, right? That's what the clay says. Um, or can it say you don't know what you're doing? And that's that's what Esau is saying. Like you don't know what you're doing. Like, you, like, like you made me as a man, but in my heart of hearts, I feel I'm a woman, right? Like you know, you made me as a woman, but in my heart of heart, I feel that I'm a that I'm a man. I mean, you don't know what you're doing, you know, God. I mean, you 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 <laughs> like like you you don't know what you're doing. Like you you made me this way, but you know you didn't make me this way. I mean, I'm able to change myself, change my gender. Let me go back. 
is this. Just because it's been this way doesn't mean it should continue to be this way. Breaking the binary. That's the motto that this New York store goes by. The goal, to create a place to shop where its customers feel like it's been this way doesn't mean it should continue to be this. One piece of clothing at a time. Everything we're doing is breaking a barrier. We're looking at everything and turning it upside down and saying, why is this? Just because it's been this way doesn't mean it should continue to be this way. Breaking the binary. That's the motto that this New York store goes by. The goal, to create a place to shop where its customers feel accepted and safe. So we function off of a very serious social code. It's something that we expect staff to abide to and anybody that comes into our space. And the idea is that you come in and you check your assumptions at the door. We do our very best to ask everybody what their pronoun is. So is it he, him, she, her, ZZ, they, them. And from there, that makes people feel really comfortable in their shopping experience and knowing that there's going to be no judgment regardless of what they decide to wear, how they express themselves. We're just here to support that. Created by Rob Smith, who has been in the business for nearly 30 years, has worked for major brands like Macy's, Nike, and Victoria's Secret. But after taking... Okay, so that's just, uh, which we all should know that most of our main designers, you know, that we, uh, you know, die and sweat and blood to, uh, to get... Is, is, is all created by homosexuals, right? Uh, Ralph Lauren, uh, Gucci, I mean, Louis Vuitton, like all this stuff, rappers, and you know, and even um, us as the uh, you know, so called common folk die to get it's all created by homosexuals. Taking some time off to think about what he wanted to do with his life, he found a way to combine his love for fashion with a way to give back to the community. And the Fluid Project was born. There's a lot in the name. So the Fluid Project, Fluid itself, represents fluidity. And in some cases, it's about um, gender fluidity, but it's also about fluid life. Like, how do you just not get stuck in one place, but keep evolving and morphing? And the pH represents balance. In this case, the balance of masculine and feminine, where that's uh, what I love, the idea of balance of uh, masculine and feminine and then project because it's we're working together to make something better the clothes are colorful and fun and there is a ton of variety so if you want to wear something casual or more feminine there's something here for everyone but this store is not just a retail space it doubles as a free community space and you don't even have to be a customer why should a store exist they're just disappearing but i thought if it was a store plus a community space then it starts to have some relevance meanwhile the store also sells brands that help support women who are victims of domestic violence children who are in need and environmental awareness now, Rob hopes to open up several more fluid stores around the world, and he hopes to accomplish this within the next five years. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. Right, so to be continued, uh, more, more to come. Let me just click out and click back on, see if I can get that view back again. Hey, he, he, he saw a, a, a damn serpent, man. Right, and now let's get into this because you know, I mean, our people, we we gotta follow them quick. I mean, like whatever they do, you know, these other nations, we we have to, you know, hold up now. I, like I can do it too. So now let's get into Eve real quick. To my mom's store, cause my mom's really nice. There's a lot of people should go to my mom's store, cause my mom's really nice, and when she greets people in the store, they won't feel like, oh, just one of these normal stores that I can go to at like where my house is. This is, this is like one of the stores where kids can be themselves. Yeah, I think children should be celebrated. It's something that I live by. We do dance parties in the morning. Um, I think they're gifts to us. So at any cost, you want to make sure they're comfortable. And if it's how you dress, how you wear your hair, if, if it starts there, then let's just start there. The inspiration for this. Hold up. She said. Let me or at any cost. Yeah, I think children should be celebrated. It's something that I, I live by. We do dance parties in the morning. Um, I think they're gifts to us. So at any cost, you want to make sure they're comfortable. And if it's how you dress, how you wear your hair, if, if it starts there, then let's just start there. Right, right. 
I mean, just the same way as you, right? Feel comfortable doing, you know, whatever thou wills, whatever makes you uh, happy. Get this. Talking about the way uh, comfortable, you know, the way uh, whatever you dress, the way you wear your hair, right? The book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways, right? So you can't naturally grow blind hair. So why are you just trying to bend it to be blind? Because you envy your oppressor. You feel that if you look more like them, you know, dress more like them, act more like them, you'll be accepted in their society, right? You can move up the corporate ladder, so to say, right? To us, so at any cost, you want to make sure they're comfortable. And if it's how you dress, how you wear your hair, if, if it starts there, then let's just start there. The inspiration for the store really just came from my daughter, Erin, at five, who was just very, like, adamant about not wearing, like, really frilly clothing. And then I, it was so hard because I have her sister, who's only two years older, and I just wanted to, like, dress them alike and just have these, like, twinsy days. And Erin just wasn't having it. Traveling around the world, I was able to just understand that there are people who have gender-neutral clothing. Um, so I was like, let me just bring that here. I, I just thought it would be a cool option. I'm sure she's not the only kid in the world who doesn't want to wear dresses and bows. Um, so I created Mini Friday. I think she thinks it's really cool. She's like, I'm going to be famous <laughs> because I get to tell other kids that you can be who you want to be. Because I get to tell kids that they can be what they want to be. And where does she get this understanding from? She get it from her mom. And she get it from social media, which is probably her daddy, because her dad probably not in the house. You don't see him, obviously, in this video, you know, promoting his daughter, right? Which, you know, if it's up to the mom, um, her daughter will be dressing like a tomboy around, you know, within a month or two, you know, backwards hat, sagging pants, ass out, you know, so forth like that it's a sick world that we live in and our people need to stop envying and following our oppressor right um let's go here because the thing about it is that the thing about it is that you know you know that they, they're really um, making uh, moves and steps after our kids. They, they with this homosexual agenda, I mean, they already trying to push this pedophilia agenda. And uh, and look at this. This is uh, um, um, Dion, uh, uh, Salon, uh, Salon Dion, right? Uh, that uh singer this was her clothing line that came out um a couple years ago but just look at it it speaks for itself right skulls right clothing line for kids um from C um salon D S salon dion right or whatever her name is um with skulls skulls representing death like this is what you want on your kid skulls skulls of death that's that's what it is, right? Your child wearing shirts that uh got hoe on it, I mean, so your child can be, you know, uh a, a hoe, right? Skulls, and you look and you look at them, right? And you and you look at them, you you you're just able to see, I mean, that none of these kids is laughing, like right? none, none of them is laughing, none of them is smiling. None of them is happy about what's uh what's uh what's going on. All right, now let me just do this just real quick. Oh, shalom, on. shalom, on, bro. Finish this uh, real quick. All Right. 
this is current images of Celine Dion. Right? Satan. Look like the life is going from her. See that? <laughs> Already Satan's child. Now the life life is going from her. Making all this uh clothes and uh you know for uh for kids. Talking about New World Order on it. You know. Uh, shirts for females, uh, for little girls that say "ho" on it. But yeah, but we have to watch our babies because, right? We can't expect the internet, this uh, social media, to watch our children. Right? We have to uh, watch our children and raise them up, and thus say of the Lord. And with that, hopefully, brothers and sisters, edified. So next time, I say uh, shalom.